this is going to be the beginning of our color theory unit. These are going to be the definitions that we'll be using for this unit. The very first one is color wheel. A circle with different colored sectors used to show the relationship between colors. Primary colors. The colors that are used to make all other colors. Red, yellow, and blue. Secondary colors. A color resulting from mixing of two primary colors. Shade. A color that is mixed with black causing various degrees of darkness in the color. Tint. A color that is mixed with white causing various degrees of lightness in the color. Now I'm going to show you some examples of those definitions. The first one is a color wheel. This is what a color wheel typically looks like. On the color wheel you will find the primary colors. This is blue, red, and yellow. They are your primary colors on your color wheel. If you also look at your color wheel, there are your secondary colors, which are the colors that are created from mixing two of your primary colors. If you mix blue and yellow together, you will get the color green. That is one of your secondary colors. If you mix yellow and red together, you'll get another secondary color, which is orange. If you take red and blue and mix those together, you will get violet. Some people call it purple. The other colors that you see on the color wheel will be colors that are mixed when you take a secondary color and a primary color. You will get the color in between. If you mix this blue and the violet together, you'll get blue-violet. And so on around the color wheel. There are three more of the definitions that we need to look at in this unit. They are going to be analogous colors, complementary colors, and monochromatic colors. Analogous colors are a group of three colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. Complementary colors are colors directly opposite each other in the color spectrum, such as red and green or blue and orange. Monochromatic colors are colors containing or using the light and darkness of one color. I'm going to show you an example of those. If you look at the color wheel I have here, I have painted in analogous colors on the color wheel. If you look right here, this is blue, this is blue-green, and green. These are all considered analogous colors because there's three colors in a group on the same side of the color wheel. This color wheel has complementary colors colored in. If you look at the color wheel, the complementary colors are colors on the opposite side of the color wheel. So I have two sets of complementary colors showing right now. <coughs> Blue and orange over here are considered complementary because they're on the opposite side of the color wheel from each other. Red and green are also considered complementary colors because they're also on the opposite side of the color wheel from each other. And the last one y'all have is monochromatic. Now I didn't put this on the color wheel because monochromatic is one color with lights and darks added to it. Basically, it is the value, if you look, from light to dark of one color. And the color I used for this is the color blue. It's right here in the center. 
and I added white to make it lighter from the center out and I made it <coughs> I added black from here over to create the darker colors but that's what monochromatic is anytime somebody uses that phrase monochromatic that means the value of one color from light to dark and there's a good example of it right there and those are the definitions for this unit